All right, so today we've probably got Hunter's favorite video we've ever made. Probably gonna get to make it today. We just got over here to GLL Marine. So GLL's been a sponsor of mine all year. As far as the bass fishing store goes, that's where I've got you know all my Shimano reels I've been using all year. But today, we're at their kayak store, and we're actually gonna get me and Hunter a pretty nice fishing kayak, put in at that river back there behind us, and me and Hunter is gonna try to fish around for a little bit. So Hunter, if y'all do not know, Hunter has loved kayak fishing. She's always wanted to be in a kayak a ton. That's like her spirit animal is a, is a dang kayak or something. So we're gonna get out there, have a good time. Hunter's gonna be excited about this one, I can tell you right now. So it's gonna be a fun day. All right, so this right here is gonna be my kayak. Now, there's about an 80% chance this thing does not stay completely upright all day, but this is a, a new one, right, for this year? That's right. That's Slayer right. 10 Max. Small. This is the one that they like the most. They like the native kayaks over here the most, and that's one thing. So not only do they sell kayaks, they kayak fish all the time. You can tell that's kind of what they're passionate about, and these are the ones they really like. So I'm going to trust on this one I need to be in, too. So pretty excited to get out there. I know Hunter is. She's been wanting to do this for a long time. Pretty cool. So... We are extreme novices as far as kayaking goes. I've been in a kayak a few times, not, not enough to count. So, your steering's on the left, operate your rudder in the rear. Okay, see it, that thing's spinning. Mm -hmm. um, you can adjust your length for your pedals here. So when you get out there, just be careful, because you see how the seat's kind of crooked? Mm -hmm. You won't notice it right at first, but after about 15 minutes, you'll notice your forward hip will start hurting. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're consistent on your distance from Might as well put mine all the way to the front. Yes, mine. That's the way mine is. <laughs> first thing. Uh, to drop the drive, these will be strapped down. So just flip mine over and just drop it straight down. Don't lock it. Don't lock it. Don't lock okay, it. So you hit one. something, it'll pop up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm be hitting stuff. And I even have gotten to the point where I'm going to sit this on top of there, especially down here when they're not generating because it's shallow spots. you got to pull it up and paddle. Yeah. Uh, you can just grab this because I'm bad about sitting tight on there and just move it to the side. And then you can flip it up and just pedal. Just pedal a little bit and drop it like this. Okay, where I see it. Um, when you go to pull it up, though, to make sure the props lined up right, just push that down and pedal forward. And it indexes the prop so it's straight up and down. Okay, so, so say that again. This does what now? So push it down. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, so say the prop's like that, it's not coming through the hole. You just pull forward. Okay, okay, it's like a block. Okay, I got the same. Alright, Hunter, thumbs up, thumbs down. You excited or not? Nah? You finally fulfilling your dream? Number one dream ever, huh? Are you going to take down Christine Fisher in the next year and be the number one kayak angler in the world? Nope, you're not willing to commit like that? Okay, got you. But would you have a good time? All right. But I might take down Christine Fisher in the next year. There's Miss Hunter in her kayak. <clears throat> Some of y'all that are more comfortable kayak fishing than I am, don't make too much fun of me because I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm going to get out here and sling this little ace around, try to catch me a bass or two. Just trying to have a good time mostly. I know there's going to be a learning curve to it, but we'll figure something a little bit out. Mine is leaning because I'm leaning. My kayak's got a limp. My kayak's got a pimp walk. I need to move this probably. I feel like that's going to be in the daggum way. Look at that pretty thing, dude. That's about as pretty as it gets right there. So I am about out of the missile mini D chunks. I've only got like three left. I got a tournament coming up. So I wanted to save them until I could get my next ones in. But pretty little jig right there. You going over me? I got too many rods. So we're going to put the drop shot up for now. Just for a minute, we'll put the drop shot up. Yeah. He said, don't get that drop shot out yet. I'm tired already. When are they going to turn the water on? I need some dang flow to help me go. Flow to help me go. 
If you ain't on the river, then where the f you at? <laughs> What is that thing? That's an otter eating something. See it? See his head up? That's an otter eating something. You see him? There's there's like five of them. There's a bunch of them. There's otters. And the otters are eating something. Look, there, there they go. There's a bunch of them. See them? There's two of them. Okay. Come on over here then. Don't think I'm scared. <laughs> you can fish anywhere you want to. You ain't gotta be 12 feet in front of me. Go, go, go. You hit a rock, didn't you? Them rocks over there's the ones that got them. Now I'm getting a bite. Watch my rod tip. Got me one. <laughs> oh, spotted dog. Let's see if I can land him. He's little. I would normally swing him, but I want to put him in my lap. <laughs> Got me a spotted bass on the old Ace Arena. How about that? He actually ate it kind of swimming it up. Beautiful spotted bass. Really enjoy these things. Even though they're bad for the ecosystem on this little river, I do like them. First ever kayak bass. Big giant spot. I don't know, what do you think, 104 pounder? At least. Yeah, at least. You can look, look at my hand beside him and tell that's probably a four pounder. Caught him on the old ace jig though. Fun to be out here. Fun to catch him a different way. I'm gonna tell you the hook set looked a little jacked up, but we got him somehow. You could tell he was obviously not four pounds. In the video? Yeah. I was just saying, like, I don't people think he was, I was thinking it was actually four pounder. I don't know. <clears throat> Why are you so mean to him? <laughs> Hunter, mean to that poor fish. Mean, mean to that poor sucker. Yeah, dog. <laughs> you was mean to him. Yeah, I see. Hunter, Hunter said, you stupid fish. Dang, son. Y'all don't be messing around over there by Hunter's kayak. to stand up just to test it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna sit down before I hit the tree. Beautiful. Better go backwards a little bit though. Good luck throwing that Gamakatsu G finesse hook. Partner. Probably gonna be difficult for you. A pretty little fish. Mine's, mine's definitely a lot bigger than Hunter's, but don't tell her I said that. I'm right here. Huh? 
Look at that, perfectly. That's why that g finesse is so good. It slides through so well, it rips no hole at all in the fish that in that fish's mouth. That nano coat on that tournament grade wire. So that fish is a lot bigger than Hunter's, but don't tell her I said that. Kyle, you know that fish is not bigger than mine. So, not bigger than either one of mine. Beautiful. I just can't, I can't get a head counter. That's a little spotted bait. Third fish of the day. I might have to like start doing Kyle's something. only caught two, but this is my third of the day. What you think, Kyle? I think you're doing great. Hunter talking junk. I have tied it up. I have now tied it up. A little ace. I actually put a baby D bomb on that one. That's cool thing about this jig is you can really leave the skirt long, put a big chunk on it, and you can cut it down, put a small chunk on it. I wanted something that'd go through cover a little bit better, so I wanted something super narrow like that baby D bomb. And that one ate it swimming, so step in the right direction. Oh, and you can swim this sucker. I caught some this year on Champlain swimming it. Caught some on Gunnersville swimming it. Just a jig I really like to leave on the deck, you know? So you saw a good bite, huh? A good spot. And you got you a bite. You know what a good spot looks like, don't you? No, you know. Yeah, you know. I am. I would never joke about something as serious as that. One thing about OHB, she knows where a good spot he is. Got me another one. Got to me another one. See if I can grab him. Boy, throw my worm back at me. A minute ago, he liked it. Look at that. Got me another one. Pretty one. Nice little largemouth bass. Hunter. It's over for you. I done pulled out the old spinning pole. It's over for you. Over. Hunter thought she was going to beat me today. You ain't gonna catch up in that tree, Hunter. I, I do not, no. Thank you.
All right, peeps. It's time to go across the big show. Time to roll. You ready? We're gonna go over there. Yeah, we gotta pull the motors up. <clears throat> like, you think it's a decent chance we flip? <laughs> not, not very. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter, you gotta go left. <laughs> Your paddle's backwards. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Straighten it up That was not that bad at all. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like more like. What do you think, Hunter, about kayak fishing? All good for Hunter. <laughs> Hunter's got to have her one. I wanna, Me? I want to. I want to start doing tournaments. I, I'm pretty fortunate to have a 109 pound motor guide. I think I'll stick to that for a little while. But Hunter really likes the kayak fishing. She's a lot more patient than I am. I'm a little more fast paced in the first place, and boat positioning is pretty difficult out of a kayak. I thought casting was gonna be a little bit more of an more difficult but it was actually pretty easy to cast out of it it's just boat positioning is always changing and very hard to keep it stable but the reason i like it better is because in a kayak i don't have to fish behind me. <laughs> that's probably that's probably added benefit but if y'all enjoyed that i appreciate it L leave a like leave a comment and if you're looking for a kayak and you're in this area at all check out gll marine that's the dude right there that'll get you hooked up you do guided trips too right i do creek, Got... creek and crazy guides sir. yep it's creek and crazy <laughs> Creek and Crazy Guide Service specializes in shoal bass, so pretty rare species already, and it's really fun to catch them. I'm actually pretty partial to the shoal bass myself. I just don't catch them out of this thing right here. They might pull me in. <laughs>